Not too long ago, I showed you how to use band helper and MIDI commands to switch Gig Performer. Apparently, I didn't go into detail about how to set that up in Gig Performer because uh, my main goal was to show you that there's MSB, there's LSB, there's PC, that is program changes, most significant byte, least significant byte, MSB, LSB, and above all that you can do this with Gig Performer even on one platform. Now, I actually received a comment under the video and also got an email asking how you can even find out in Gig Performer which MSB, LSB, PC and MIDI channel you need. And that's what I want to show you today. I'd really appreciate it if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet. By subscribing to the channel, you help me out. And most importantly, you won't miss any more videos. Take a look around. Of course, I have other exciting topics, not just Gig Performer. When you start using Gig Performer or take a closer look at it, there are basically two important modes, the panels and the set lists. In the past, I'm not exactly sure which version it was, but program changes MSB and LSB in this list here, so under the panels, were assigned freely and you couldn't really do much with them. At least that's my understanding. That means by default, you can't really do anything there. They are sorted. There's a set format for that, but that doesn't help anyone because if I move them now and then restart at the latest, then I'll get a new program change. So what can we do about it? I'll just click on this now. If you were to double click on angels, go ahead and do that. You'll see here that you can't set anything, absolutely nothing that would help us in this matter. But if I click on a variation here, then I can assign a permanent program change to that variation, specifically a PC, an MSB, and an LSB. Of course, I have to remember the number. I strongly assume that Gig Performer will complain if you assign the same number twice. So if I check this box here, I can enter any number I want. If I want the next variation now, I click on it. And of course, it makes sense to assign the next number. If I only have one variation here, then naturally I click on that single variation, meaning on default, because it doesn't go to the rack space named Einmal bitte mit Sahne, but rather to this default variation. That's basically the first step. So that's the first point. I can do the same thing here in the set list as well. I've got something here, living on a prayer. The same applies here. If I click on living on a prayer, I can assign to the song here. That's actually interesting, I think. If I double click on the song here, I can also assign it a number. I'll just go ahead and do that now. I will proceed to assign it the number three at this point, then carefully close the window or section. Subsequently, if I click on the intro button or section, we can clearly observe that I am also able to assign a program change PC value, a most significant byte MSB value, and a least significant byte LSB value in this specific area. That's a bit odd to me. Because over in the rack space, I basically don't have a significantly different layout at all. Just the very top section and then the individual ones, each with their own distinct characteristics. There must be a reason for it because you can step through the song parts using plus and minus instead of usually with a new sign. And since you can arrange them twice here, maybe that makes sense. When I'm in the set list, I double click and then I can assign it a program change here. So those are then fixed. The good thing is, if I do this once and use this song in another set list, this song will have the same program change. That means you can usually work with one program change per song in your management software as well. Now let's go up here to options again. Now I have to think for a moment where that was. I think it's under global MIDI. Down here under options global MIDI, you can enter MIDI song select PC and use MIDI channel. That means here you can select the MIDI channel on which you want to switch the programs. That's also very important. This is basically the global channel on the Korg Kronos or the single mode channel on the Modex so that Gig Perform knows which channel it's receiving on. That means it's now receiving on channel 16 here and will only accept commands from channel 16. And up here we have that for both accept program change messages and MIDI song select to PC. I would set both to the same channel. I hope this helps you and if you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like.